Hello folks, welcome to today's talk. Um, today we're going to do another uh, in the series of our, the birth of a conspiracy theorist. And I just broke my selfie stick, so now I have to hold the darn camera. <laughs> Let me make sure I can't. Oh yeah, still working. Okay. All right, camera is running. So, oh, um, today's topic is the controlled media, the controlled mainstream media. And I first want to reference a a video that I. It was created by Conan, Conan O'Brien. It was a hilarious segment he did on his one of his shows, one of his shows, and it just highlights the problem. And he did it as a as a comedy bit, but it really is a scary thing. And this happened to be about a story he was doing bits mostly on stories that didn't matter. It was just you know. Uh, a piece about you know, Easter holiday or something like that and he was showing clips from all over the country news organizations all over the country all channels and they were reading from the same script right they even had the you know the catchphrase down the, the, the intro was the same it was like all of these news organizations across the country are reading from the same script. One news organization was actually providing the uh, the, uh, the the script, okay? So, uh, and it was in a comedic sense and to make you laugh. But when you think about it, if they're doing that on stories that don't make any difference. Can you imagine about the stories, what's happening with the stories that do make a difference? You know, any, any serious piece of journalism in, or a serious story that goes on in this country, almost every news organization is reading from the same script. And it is really downright spooky. Um, the, the conspiracy theorists in me, I, I mean, uh, I've heard. I've heard um, reference to this fact by different people over the years, but especially like when it comes to President Trump or President Biden or, or you know the cover-up story for President, you know the hit piece on President Trump, the cover-up story for President Biden. These are all being orchestrated. Now I, I don't know if. All of it, anything of political significance is being orchestrated out of the the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, and that may not be the the case on all, all stories. You know these stupid stories that are meaningless about you know Easter holiday. Oh, it's really getting hot this year. The Easter Bunny, yeah, blah, 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 the Easter Bunny, <laughs> down to this exact phraseology is being just read by everybody. And and it's presented to us as news, right? This is not news or journalism. And uh, it is scary how the government can control the narrative. And uh, it makes me all the more thankful for people like Elon Musk and buying Twitter. And, and I think the effect of that will stretch way beyond just Twitter. I, I'm hoping that even here on YouTube, for the time being, I'm still on YouTube. And uh, in the past, I've had videos taken down because they were quote unquote misinformation. And all I was doing was quoting the, an article by the National Institute of Health from the CDC's own website about the effectiveness of uh, the vaccines, right? The uh, relative, what was the RRR and the ARR, 
relative, what was those? The rel absolute, oh, I can't remember what those words stand for, but the effectiveness uh, of the vaccine is right. And they were, Basically, increasing your chances about one percent, right, of not having a serious disease. But, anyways, I stated that fact from the article. I was just reading the article, and that article was pulled by YouTube. Now, since then, uh, you know, Elon Musk has bought Twitter, and I don't know, a few heads have rolled. I think, uh, hopefully. It has had a positive effect on YouTube. I notice whenever I say something controversial on YouTube that I get this obligatory thing under my, uh, this, this, uh, what like a link posted on my video saying, if you want to know more about you know, go to the CDC, right? If you want to know real truth, go to the government, All right? Right? Uh, it's just so, so even the fact that I'm talking about this may get me pulled from YouTube and I, if so I'll just have to move over to Rumble and or Rumble or and then post the link on Twitter so people can access it but as it stands I'm gonna keep posting these videos as long as YouTube will let me and uh, and then post the links on on Twitter uh, not that it makes a difference I've got like 10 followers <laughs> so you know it's, I'm just a, a voice in the wilderness but uh, it's fun for me and it makes for a nice uh, parking place for these videos and maybe when I'm dead and gone some of my answers will care to listen to what I had to think about this or that but uh, anyways that's how conspiracy theorists are born you watch the mainstream media and you think hmm that doesn't add up and you think for yourself and now you are a conspiracy theorist because you're not buying the official narrative right you've got they will label you a conspiracy theorist as long as you don't believe their narrative, right? <laughs> their sources are all good. It's like um, on Twitter, I, it's almost comical how much certain people I follow uh, hate President Trump, or former President Trump, like um, um, Carl Reiner's son, uh, what's his name? Rob Reiner, yeah. Like, uh, daily. The most asinine, and I like him. He makes great movies, funny movies. I loved, uh, I liked, loved him and all of the family. I loved his dad. I thought his dad was a comedic genius. I thought he makes good movies. Rob makes good movies. But when it comes to President Trump, boy, they, boy. You know, it's all emotion. They hate that man with a passion, and he can't do anything right. Uh, it's a good thing I can hear around here. So, it's just funny how um, some people, this is other guy on John something on, on YouTube. I don't necessarily, maybe I followed him, but I don't know. But he's on my feed like every day. Tump, Still to this day, Trump, he's after Trump and they want, they're not gonna be happy until Trump is in prison. And it doesn't matter if he did anything or not. It doesn't matter if he's guilty or not, they want him in prison, right? It's like these people have a, no sense of justice. They just want revenge. It's like the January 6th thing. You know, we all saw the videos that Tucker posted. Now Tucker's, Tucker's the bad guy for posting that, letting us in on uh, actually what was going on inside the Capitol. This is the most peace there. This, this shaman, uh, shame or shaman, 
was being escorted around by police, right? And he used me that to be some villain, went to prison. He just finally got out. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. And this violent insurrection, the only violence was, uh, I think the person was shot by the Capitol Police and died. And then one guy, a cop died of a heart attack. That's violence. But it's cute when the BLM riots do it, right? That's cute. That's totally justified. Destroying building, lighting, building, sliding, uh, burning the towns down. And that's totally justified because, because why? It's the strangest thing. Um, anyways. So that's how conspiracy theorists are born. And this is installment, I think it's installment six on this playlist. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I was around how many minutes, 10 minutes or so. Anyways, I, I'm not sure if I'm even on this video, but uh, thank you for listening. And I'll probably make another one today. Bye-bye.